this is the master key about your how our awareness of fear i don't find myself constantly in that field in that emptiness therefore i'm bound to to feel fear yes or to not be here because i'm projecting into the future or bringing back the past when i'm talking to you when i when i am doing something this is the so, yes the the absolute yeah. or the pure awareness manifests and experiences itself dynamically as the feeling i am the natural sense that you have the feeling i exist i am here i had this experience this i this i itself is itself the manifestation the earliest manifestation of the absolute hmm? is the feeling i am and by itself it is not a form it has no form but it needs the body to manifest and somehow when the body is there and the breath is there this i am feeling gets converted into the belief i am the body and it is the i am plus the body belief the belief in i am the body that goes through suffering and none can avoid it for a while none can avoid it everyone comes under the influence of this for a while and gradually this the if spirituality means anything at all it's only the sieving out the combing out of the noise that comes upon this pure sense of i am by identifying itself as being a body and personality and then acquiring other concepts so effectively mm, the concept the i am became a, a kind of an entity i am this person this is what i am i've been trying this i'm meditating uh, i failed uh, i'm getting closer i'm fine how can i stay as this all of these questions all these doubts they will come for this i am which is somehow become modified somehow by identifying itself with what is transient like the body and the senses that's not to say that one curses the body because the body is necessary for consciousness to taste experiencing without body consciousness can have no experience you see but the fact is that one must see that the consciousness is not the body at a late later stage perhaps it might become clear to you that the body itself is consciousness is a form of consciousness but for now no maybe not necessary it's okay it's enough to say that whatever is perceivable the body and the senses and the activity of mind and thought and emotion all of that is perceivable find out what perceives it this is the master key and the rest you can leave because if you understand this the rest will come spontaneously waves of illumination and clarity will come out of the seeing of this there's not many things you have to do i cannot tell you how many loops to jump through but if you come first to this point where you see that everything not i am a tree and i'm the sky and i'm the clouds but that all of these are perceivable by myself if i am not these don't exist this is how important it is how central uh, the sense i am is you are the perceiver of everything else now the question come again i put it to you can this perceiver be perceived find out you know uh when uh, someone uh, claims or reports an out of body experience they say that uh, i have seen my body you know sitting in there you know, on the scaffold or something is that is that actually what happens when you when you place your attention to when you become awareness itself yes. awareness itself is watching the body yes not in that kind um, of way because if some people as you have said report mm -hmm. you know in in a near death experience mm -hmm. say for instance it's it's enough been uh uh looked at and surveyed that some people have a sense of watching their body okay but in order to watch your body you have to be in another kind of body maybe a more subtle body to see your gross body okay so it's not that awareness is the same like he's looking at the body in some kind of metaphysical experience it's not like this it's not like this and perhaps there is something in us that feels that we need the authentication of some metaphysical experience to show that we are this thing what awareness is is that whatever it is that this functioning world is only the product of consciousness it's only available when consciousness is available like in the waking state when the waking state is available 
then the sense of I manifest. And when I manifest, it is the first manifestation. Because there cannot be you before I. Because the sense of you is based upon the sense of I. I is the prior most uh, establishment. Only when I am can then there be you and world and time and space and relationships and otherness. So I is the crucial factor. I wonder if you follow this. First I must come. I is the first rising. It's said that I and time, they are synonymous. I and experience are synonymous. I and world is synonymous. They are one. Everything stands upon I. This is why it's so important. The sages of themselves uh, advised and recommended. This question is the most I, the most potent question. This will take you home, show you home. Who am I? What is I? Not what is you. What is that? Even what is God is not as important as what is I. Because it is I who see God. There is no arrogance or blasphemy in this statement. Without me, even God, what is God even, you see? Yeah. So what is I? And can this question be answered, you see? Can this question be answered? Because I is the seer of everything else.